Hello, welcome back. Fred in the shed and in a short while on this video we're going to be testing this President Truman AM FM radio. We'll be testing the power output of this through a Zatagi B150 linear amplifier or burner if you like. That will be coming up oh, in just a moment. Isn't really my thing but if you've got a small four watt radio like this one um, and you are you might struggle a little bit on four watts today everybody's spaced out everyone's got a lot of background interference if they're home based and sometimes you need to get over their level of noise to be heard and that's the problem I've got <clears throat> the people on my little 305 group um, mostly home based mostly suffer from a level of noise so yeah the amplifier can help and I did a little video on this when I did a, a, a test on air and I did switch on the amplifier talking to uh, Dave061. Now he's not very far away from me, he's only about six and a half miles. But I was struggling on the four watts, I switched on the amp and yeah, it's firmed up my signal. He could read me no problem. So they do have their uses, AM, FM especially. I'm just not keen on these on sideband at all. We just, I've not had much success on these small little amps on sideband. But anyway, if you want to use one, go ahead, but just a few basic precautions. The first thing I'm going to say to you is make sure that your SWR is below, say, 2, 1.5, something like that. You want it as low as possible. If you've got an SWR that's high, say between 1.5, getting on for 2, try to look at your SWR before you want to start running power because the last thing you want is a load of power reflected back into your radio because you're going to be increasing your transmit signal and in, if your SWR is higher that means more power is going to be coming back to the radio and it's very easy to damage your radio and burn out your final transistors and a lot of people have gone down that route. So always check your SWR. Now I did a video over on Fred 2, um, for me it's quite recent, for you guys it'd be a couple of weeks ago now and I did do some testing just with the 150 there setting up on the president and we, we used an SWR meter I've got this very cheap one here this is a KPO SWR power and power meter the very very good little meters you pick these up just over 10 pounds on eBay they're not the most accurate thing in the world but there's a bit of a, bit of a uh, conversation on if you're using an amplifier where you should place the SWR meter in sort of relation to the radio. Now myself, because this is a very small meter, it, it claims to be rated at a maximum 100 watts. I'm a little bit funny about pushing 100 watts through this. I don't think it would take 100 watts. So I always put the meter before the amplifier and then the antenna on the end because I, I want to make sure that I measure the SWR what's coming back into the radio. Now in theory when you put an SWR meter in and you're running an amp your SWR shouldn't change. You could put it at the end of the amplifier there and it should measure the same because it's just your the tuning of your antenna the impedance of your 50 ohm coaxial cable. As long as you've got all that sorted out it shouldn't change but what you find is with these amplifiers they're not made to a particularly high quality and I've always found that if I've put an amp in line my SWR does slightly crease up especially if you're using the radio with the amp switched off it's not really designed to be used that way um, with the amp switched on it still creeps up a little bit and I did show that on that Fred in the Shed 2 video I'll leave a link to that in the end but as, a, as opposed to where you put the SWR meter I say I always put it there I, I'm not sure if that's right as a lot of people have said no you should put it after the amplifier so let me know help me out here if, if you know the answer to that where do you put yours if you run an amplifier will you put it at, before, at the end before the antenna or like me would you prefer to put it close to the radio um, I'm, not, I'm not sure on the answer on that I'd be interested to, to know what you've got to say in the comments right okay got that out of the way um, for this test I'm not going to be using the little cheap KPO meter I'm going to be using the Zatagi TM999 this is a SWR meter a power meter it's also a matcher which is quite useful to use mobile if you're having trouble getting an SWR down especially if you're going using quite a lot of wide variety of frequencies things like that I'm going to be using this 150 watt dummy load this was sent to me by a really nice guy when I very first started my YouTube channel a guy named Gary he reached out to me when I was in that kind of funny stage when you first start your channel and you know it's really hard to get going and you don't know if you're going to carry on with it well Gary reached out to me he sent me a few things and um, one of the things that I didn't have was a dummy dummy load 
and he was very kind, very, very generous, and he sent me a dummy load. So that's Gary's dummy load there. That's what we're going to be using. Just run through the equipment again. I'm using the Satagi TM999. Um, this isn't bench kind of quality equipment. It's all I've got to work with. I don't know exactly how accurate this meter is, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, just this is just a guideline. It's, it's a rough guideline, okay? Uh, don't bother sort of saying to me in the comments, oh, you need to buy a 300 pound bench meter because I'm not gonna do that. So this is what True we've got, one. is ready to go. We are on FM, we are on the Euro band. So this is the mid block, this isn't the UK band. And I'm just gonna zoom into the meter. We're on the 10 watt scale on the bottom of the meter there. And according to the sheet, the radio is supposed to put out four watts. And well, I think it will be a little bit less than that. But let's, there we go, we're gonna key up now. And yeah, that's coming. It's just under the four. Um, it's hard to say, but I'd say probably something like 3.7, something like that. There won't really be any deviation on FM, so straight carrier signal. Yeah, about 3.7, 3.75 something like that and that's probably what you'd expect you could go inside and turn up the radio if you really wanted to but i'm not going to bother myself okay going to go on to the fm uk block now this is probably what the radio has been tuned to because it's been sold in the uk here so again we're going to zoom into the meter and i'm expecting probably about the same to be honest let's see how we get on oh, okay no that's gone a little bit higher on the meter there and that's showing yeah that's showing uh, four watts whether that's genuine as i say the meter isn't the most accurate but it yeah showing four watts there just one thing that i almost forgot as we've got a ammeter on the power supply we're able just to test the current draw on the four watts there just going to zoom in for you so if you look at the bottom scale there zero to 32 i'm going to key up now and that's gone right in the middle of the first digit there. The first digit is two amps, and that's probably just over one amp. Probably, again, you could guess that about 1.2, something like that. So not a lot really on the standard four watts. A three amp power supply should be absolutely fine for FM and AM. Now that's gonna, ch that's gonna change quite significantly when I turn on the linear amplifier in a moment. Okay, let's get on to the next bit then. Right, so I've put the linear amplifier, radio linear amplifier, power meter, not doing the SWR because we're still not sure about that. Let me know in the comments. And then Gary's dummy load there at the end. So on AM, switch on the amplifier. This is supposed, supposed to do anywhere up to 100 watts on AM. So we'll see how we get on. Ready to go and key up now. And there you go, yeah, on the bottom scale, audio, 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 a little bit of deviation there. But that's between, it's about 45 watts, mm, yeah, not quite up to the 50, so yeah, about 45 watts or something on AM, which is it's usable, it's not bad at all. Um, be quite happy with that, to be honest, I think that's absolutely fine. Okay, let me just uh, switch the radio over to FM, and let's see what we get on FM. That's done, off camera. So this is now channel 20 UK FM, what we hear using the UK. Again, keep an eye on that bottom scale at zero to 10, zero to 100. And there you go, that's right over. And yeah, about 50 watts, I would say, according to that meter. I'll just give it another check. Yeah, bang on the, bang on the 50 watts. So you can see that you don't get the sort of output that they tell you you're gonna get. Um, 100 watts, that's already getting quite warm. 100 watts, yeah, but you don't need it. I mean, 50 watts, that's absolutely perfect for what I wanna do, just under four watts into the amplifier. Shouldn't cause it any problems. It shouldn't heat up too much. I shouldn't need to put a fan on top there. And then the final thing, but I'll check why I've got it on here, we'll just look at how many amps that's drawing on the ammeter, so again, it's on the bottom scale, that's zero to 32, and this is on the FM. And yeah, so just over the seven is that? Two, yeah, two, four, five, just eight amps. So just a fraction, just a fraction under eight amps, nearer to seven amps. But like I say, again, certainly if you're using sideband, 
you, you just want to sort of make sure you've got a lot of headroom. This this will pull out a lot more power on sideband. I'm not, not going to test it on sideband today. Um, so I think that concludes it. There, there you go. I say this is non-scientific. I know this meter isn't particularly great. I, I do appreciate that. This is just a kind of a, a ballpark figure. But there you go. Yeah, so 200 watts, sideband 100 watts. AM, FM, um, in reality, we've just under four watts in, about 50 watts out, give or take a little bit, which is absolutely fine, to be honest. That's more than enough for getting out local contacts anymore. And uh, I think they call you a crocodile station where the people can hear you, but you won't sort of hear it back. So there you go, that's gonna conclude it. Sorry, it's a bit of a waffly one, but I just thought I would do it, because I just know that people are gonna ask me on the uh, video when they see it. Fred, what's that little Zatagi putting out? And there it is, about £70, £75 UK. If you want to get one, then yeah, you know, you can't go wrong. Just don't overdrive it. Don't whack in 10 watts, something like that, because I have burnt one of these out before by accident, and they do literally burn out. So there you go. There's the old thumb. Thanks for tuning in to all this. Fred in the shed. Uh, subscribe if you've not already done so and all that. Please, please, please stay safe because it's all getting crappy out there again. I can't believe it, but it is. And of course, I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.